Are you having a hard time coding? When I first started learning how to code, I often felt lost and oftentimes inadequate because I can't solve even the simplest of programming problems. I would spend hours on the most beginner questions and even doubt myself to a point where I ask, is coding really for me? But here we are, five years of being a software engineer, I realized that it is not how much time you spend in front of the screen or the ability to push yourself to think of a solution. To get unstuck, as counterintuitive as it may sound, the answer is to just let go. This may sound obvious, but this is a problem most beginner coders face, not knowing when to stop. There were countless times when I pushed myself to try and solve coding problems regardless of my mental state of being. And this just amplifies the difficulty of the problem that leads to burnout. I know I'm tired, my eyes are blurry and dry, but I still kept on going anyway. But why do we still push through? And that's because of obsession. Having a bug in your code that you can't fix feels like an itch that follows you everywhere you go. But after years of training my brain to just let go and leave the computer for a while to do something else has helped me tremendously to get through the most challenging moments in my career. So I suggest just let go and do something mundane. I mentioned the mundane task because it is where we get our eureka moments. As for me, I'd like to go out for a while, get some fresh air, and maybe cry once or twice. Riding my motorcycle also helps and I cook since I work from home. And this is where I found the Eureka moments. There is a term being used in tech to describe developers and this is fresh or freshness or being fresh. A developer who is tired or burnt out are called not fresh, while the developers who are well rested and didn't do much task are considered fresh. In a team of software engineers, when managers notice that a developer is tired or not fresh but still currently working on bugs and features, there's a high chance that the management will suggest letting the developer rest for a while and come back later when the dev is fresh or let another dev who is fresher to take over. It is because fresh developers are more efficient. Even in the industry, it is being practiced to take rest. So why not you? Programming is a precise endeavor. It's all in the tiniest of details. A missing semicolon can make you frustrated for hours. So there's no question why sometimes our code may not work and we have no idea why. Have you ever experienced explaining your code to another person? Then suddenly, in the middle of conversation, you figure it out? That's exactly what the rubber duck method is, finding or figuring out the solution when trying to explain the problem. This is one of the best ways to debug your code, explaining it line by line. Not necessarily to a rubber duck, it could be any object or decorations on your desk, anything that you can pick up, face, and explain your code. Software development is much better when everyone is collaborating or when you have people to ask for help, whether online or in person. There's no shame in asking for help. We were all beginners once and it's our pleasure to help you succeed. So ask others, talk to your rubber duck, and surely you'll get your own sweet Eureka moment. Let's get technical for a moment. So let's say you haven't had any luck with the rubber duck nor asking other developers. You can't find any solutions in Google. Well, the last thing and the final resort would be to log or print everything. Everything from the process to what the input is, what type of data are you getting. And that's one of the best and last way I would do debugging. As a little example here, we have this 
function called format duration which takes in seconds as its parameter and what I'd like to do to debug is log or print every step of the way the values of the variable or the parameters that I'm mutating. So here, just to make sure, I'm logging the data type of seconds. And here, since I've created an operation here that computes for the hour, I would log that again. And I would log seconds again over here because I've mutated the parameter. And this goes on to every process that I make, I would take into account the values and if there are errors that occurred during the process I would know which line didn't work and that's just one little example. One honorable mention for getting yourself unstuck when you're coding is to read your errors. A lot of beginner engineers do not read their errors and just skip the errors, just go straight to Google and Google the problem that they had when in fact the problem or the solution is already in front of them. Maybe it's just a type error, maybe it's something or a variable that you did not define. Maybe the problem is just very simple and you did not read the error and you just skip to Google and that costs you a lot of time. So instead, it's better to read the error, understand the error, and if nothing works, then just Google the error. That way, there's a high chance that you'll get the right answer. That's it for now for this video. If you have more questions, just drop them in the comment section. Questions about coding, not on how I look, because I know how I look, okay? <laughs> All right, so that's it. I hope you learned something, and yeah, subscribe if this was helpful to you. Thanks. See ya.